said we want to have a, a, a Canadian union. And uh, we want to have an executive board which will reflect the rank and file leadership. There are lots of challenges as we were going through this because there's a lot of interference coming from the Americans. It was a difficult decision to make to say all of a sudden we're going to move from what was being a union led by Walter Ruther now to something that we were going to do something fundamentally different. I used to go to Detroit to the board meetings. The board meetings were all one, one person from each of the region. There was no, uh, no people got into that room other than that. And I wanted a different structure for our leadership. I wanted to have a president, the secretary treasurer, and the Quebec director. We talked this out, not just me, but Buzz and, and Nick and I. We didn't want the UAW structure with the executive board the way it was. But we wanted to have rank and file members on our board as well. And that's what it turned out to be, to give an opportunity to people who are active in the union on a regular basis, who do all these things on a regular basis, most of them not getting paid for it. But around that room it are people who are working every day at the workplace. They know about the labor movement. They're not afraid to make an argument with the president or somebody else. And it makes a hell of a lot of difference. And if you go to some big organization, which all they want to do is rubber stamp what the president said. So we changed the structure significantly. And, and, and the majority of the people ultimately in the board were, were from rank and file local unions. And today that's still fundamentally important to make sure that you have voices coming from the workplace, from people who spend all of their time trying to do the best that they can in local unions.